I've done a few videos on the T-Mobile Home Entertainment System, mainly talking about how much we love the system as we full-time travel around the country in our RV. But in the last video, I did mention that T-Mobile has indicated that they were going to start enforcing their geofence possibilities to make sure the system is being used as they want it to be used in one location. Now, since they indicated they were going to do that, that date has come and gone and nothing has changed. We have heard from other channels and other sources that T-Mobile has decided they ran into some troubles with that rollout. We don't know what those troubles were. and that they were going to postpone that. They have no date set to where they're going to postpone it to. They did indicate that it would probably be sometime in 2024. But once again, we don't know. There's all kinds of speculation. Speculation that it will be coming very soon. Speculation that it may not come at all. Nobody knows. Everybody wants to guess, but nobody knows except for maybe T-Mobile, and I don't think they even know. Now, I, for one, am very happy we did not just jump ship at the first sign of trouble with T-Mobile and that we stuck around because if it doesn't roll out with this geofence thing, we're going to stick with them as long as we can. Now, there's a lot of options out there. We actually found another option for us that we will go to if T-Mobile happens to you know, start taking on water and we have to jump ship. But until then, we're happy doing what we're doing. Now, the main reason for this video is, is that I've, I've showed some videos showing the speeds and talked about how happy we were with it. I came back and shared with you about how T-Mobile was going to enforce the geofence options. And because I shared that information with you, I know there's already a lot of information out on the Internet, and you've probably already seen it. But in case you haven't, I wanted to make sure you heard it from us that they have postponed rolling out that geofence option and uh, ruining the whole thing for us RVers or boaters or travelers or what have you. So uh, again, if, you're, if you have T-Mobile and you're using it, you might just hang around. Now, for us, we don't work from the road. So if by chance T-Mobile told us tomorrow, hey, we're going to cut you off because you don't have a stationary location, it wouldn't hurt us. We would use our um, hotspot option on our phone. We'd be fine for a few days. We would move to another provider. We would get the hotspot. We would set up and we'd be fine. But what would we lose? Nothing. Um, for those of you that are working and rely on internet every single day, maybe you want to still think about it, but uh, I'd hang on and, and just wait and see what T-Mobile does. Anyway, there's a lot of people out there telling you right now that, oh, I told you it was coming. We know so much. We knew it was coming. We warned you all. They're, you know, you're breaking the rules. Well, <laughs> they didn't know crap. They just, want, they just want you to think they know everything. The truth is, nobody knows except for T-Mobile. And like I said, I don't think they know. Anyway, that's it. We come back. We shared what we know. My conscience is clear. We hope you have a great day, and as always, if you enjoy this type of video, full-time RV lifestyle stuff, how about a thumbs up? Consider hitting that subscribe button. Leave us a comment down below. Have you heard anything new about the T-Mobile system? Did you have T-Mobile and you jumped ship? If you did, what did you jump to? I'd be curious. As always, have a great day. See you in the next video.